Oh man. Oh yeah, friends and fam. Welcome back to another episode of Captain Coleslaw Outdoors with yours truly, Captain Coleslaw. And it has been a minute since you have last seen me here on YouTube. The summer is a busy time, you know? We've been trying to get a uh, master's class taken care of, which we were able to do with flying colors, along with taking care of some other general livelihood business that needed to get done. So this next little series here on the channel is going to be devoted to a very interesting little sport like the best of both worlds in terms of hunting and fishing and there's definitely adventure tied to it and it's definitely going to be some fast-paced action that i think you guys are going to enjoy the name of the game is bow fishing we're going to be fishing for what they call rough fish species and i'll explain what a rough fish is but the objective is that we are actually going to go fishing by shooting this harpoon styled fiberglass arrow at fish in order to bring them in and harvest them. Now when I say rough fish, that means fish species that do not have general game regulations tied to them. So bass, walleyes, trout, like you've seen on the channel before. These are all fish that if you wanna keep these fish, there's a size limit, there's a season when you can and can't take them. Rough fish do not have any of those seasons or size requirements. If you want to go catch a hundred suckers and keep them all, you're allowed to do that. And rough fish species are fish that you can also harvest not just with rod and reel, but with a bow archery setup. So we are actually going to do some adventuring to try to catch some of these fish with an arrow instead of a line and show you how that process goes and all the fun that is tied with it. I want to kind of show you the setup of what a bow fishing kit looks like uh, before we hit the streams and rivers and lakes trying to go harvest some fish. So this bow is actually my old deer hunting bow, believe it or not. I actually shot a couple deer with this bow when I was younger. It works perfectly fine and it's set at about 40 pounds weight, meaning 40 pounds of draw, which for a deer is actually less than I would be comfortable shooting. I would rather shoot a deer around 60, 65 at the minimum. But if you're shooting a fish, you don't need nearly that much. Most people go down to only about 20. I like to go 40, it gives me a little bit more oomph at a little bit further distance when shooting that fish. The big difference though, is that you might notice on the side of the bow here, we have a bow fishing reel. So this is a reel created by Cajun Bow Fishing, which is a great little brand. I'll mark the link in the description below so you can check it out. And it has this tub full of 200 pound braided fishing lines, basically yarn or rope, but with more heavy duty nature. And that rope comes out the front of the reel here, which there is this lever here, this is the brake. So if I shoot a fish and he starts running, I can pull the brake down to keep the line from coming out. But that line runs out of the tub, through the reel and out the front, which then attaches to this large white fiberglass arrow with a nice harpooned broadhead at the top. So once that shoots through the fish, it actually acts like a harpoon because of those jagged barbs. So it'll go into the fish, but it won't pull out. Now, sometimes the fish get away because you don't hit them well, but that's not something we're aiming to do. We're literally trying to knock these fish down and take them out. So over the next couple days, we're going to do some really diverse sets of bow fishing and try to get some different rough fish for you to see. Fish that people don't necessarily talk about nearly as much as your bass, pike, trout, and that sort of thing. Bow fishing has a reputation as being a very brutal fishing sport because there are a lot of people out there who just go out, shoot these fish, and then whip them up on shore right where they killed them and let them there to lay, rot. It really sours that environment for other people to use for other purposes, whether it be hiking, kayaking, or fishing. We don't want to do that. We don't want to put people in that weird scenario with our bow fishing. So anything we shoot, we're taking with us and we're going to find productive uses for those fish. And we're going to do some definite catch and cook stuff if we can get some of the tastier bow fishing rough fish. So we have a bunch of adventures coming at you here through this bow fishing series. We're going to try some different types of water, look for some different types of rough fish, and then 
show you along the way how to ambush those fish, how to find them, and how to strategically get yourself in a position to get a shot at a fish with an arrow, which is so much harder than people realize. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun though. So stay tuned, enough blabbering. It's bow fishing time, baby. Let's get it. So I just scouted up under this bridge here and I saw probably 20 nice sized red horse suckers chilling in the shallow water. So we're gonna try to fish this first hole here. I'll show you it here in a second. The key out here is looking for the golden flash. When these fish turn, they're gonna shine like road signs in the night. So if we can get a reflection off one of these fish, it'll give us an opportunity to focus in on a target. And the bigger the flash, the bigger the opportunity. They're all over those shallow peninsulas out in there, so we're actually gonna walk down the far side and work our way back in. And once we get in an optimal spot, we're just literally gonna stand there and be patient, see if we can't get something to come close. We are truly surrounded by suckers here, fellas. I mean, they're here. We just gotta be patient. There's one just swimming right out there, swimming away from us though. It's only a matter of time before one of these fish comes to us and gives us an opportunity. We are in the honey hole. That was hard as hell. Small fish, hard to shoot. Just battling that river, battling those elements, that's that's tough. That was a tough freaking bowfish attempt. We're gonna go try a spot that might be a little bit easier on the legs and see if we can't knock something down. Holy freaking moly, that sucked. There is a pile of big old suckers and some drum. Both are rough fish. Now we have a lead on something even better. We're gonna go try to shoot some drum. We just saw some giant ones swimming around in here. So if we can shoot one of those, whole day is made. There's a sucker right there. Thing is a giant. Oh my God! Bingo was his name. Oh, oh my! That's a giant. That is a giant. Good Lord. That is a gigantic fish. Wow. Good molly. Holy crap. That is a humongous red horse. Wow. We've been waiting all day for a fish like this. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at the size of this thing. Holy shoot! The thing is gigantic. Look at the size of this red horse. Oh my gosh. The thing is huge. And it was a perfect shot. This is 
a bow fishing trophy right here. I mean, this is a gigantic red horse sucker. Beautiful fish, probably about 24 inches long, probably weighs about four or five pounds. And this fish is absolutely, without a shred of a doubt, gonna be delicious to eat. I'm stunned. We're gonna put this in the bag and try to whack another. That, my friends, is a slock. Let's go. Okay. Now that's a good looking fish right there, huh? That is a good looking fish. Now that one, my friends, is not getting away. There we go. That's a nice red horse. Good enough for the stringer. Oh my, he's huge and he was right on top of me. Oh man. Wow. Missed by that much. Well, fellas, it appears as if we will be having some supper tonight. A few bow shot suckers, another nice one, not as big as the one from the other day, and another one that's plenty eater, nothing else. And these fish are gonna be good, put to good use. And man, did they provide a lot of entertainment. Remember, if you're gonna go out and shoot rough fish, find a purpose for them, right? A lot of people swear that suckers are just not edible. Why well, swear by the opposite? These fish are tremendously good eating, and you might as well use them. If you're not gonna eat them, bury them in your garden. Help plant your tomatoes or something that's gonna benefit you and the surrounding ecosystem. There are ways to do it. These fish are way too beautiful and way too valuable of species to just pitch. In fact, red horse themselves are a indicator of clean water quality, not the opposite. So if you have the opportunity to hunt these suckers, that's because you have an awesome watershed that you could be exploiting in a practical, sustainable manner. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Captain Coleslaw Outdoors. Over the last couple of days, we've killed a pretty good number of red horse in terms of the amount of meat that we're gonna be able to use. So we're very blessed in that regard. And if you wanna get into the sport, those fish will be waiting for you. It is an untapped resource, I'm telling you. So, if you like the video, if you like this bow fishing action, make sure you like and make sure you subscribe. And we could bring you some more awesome bow shooting action in order to try and knock more fish down. These red horse have been a lot of fun, but I think we got some other species we gotta chase too. So, until the next time, fellas, shoot straight, hit the sucker. If you do, that's it. I'll see you guys on the water next time.